Oh boy. I haven't done one of this guy's videos in a while. Not because, like, he's the peak of intellectual discussion or anything, but because I feel like every time I watch one of his videos, I just want to tear my eyeballs out the whole time because they're so cringy. You guys know Welcome it's to PJW. Capitalism. Yeah, we're we're watching PJW and we're going to cringe. For those of you guys that don't know, uh, PJW put out a video called World War Woke. Oh, I just realized I'm uh, not showing chat. That's how it's supposed to look. Anyway, he put out a video called World War Woke. It's got uh, 647,000 views. Good God, we're going back to 2016, uh, as you can see. Um, yeah, World War Woke. Oh, boy. It's only six minutes long. Hopefully our suffering won't be too much. I can survive anything for six minutes. Well, that escalated quickly. Explosions right across this vast country. Turns out that electing a president who can't even say Kiev properly. The capital city of Kiev. And who responded to the attack by going to bed. Wait, what? Calling it Kiev is respectful to the Ukrainians. Ukrainians call it Kiev. Call it Kiev. And Russians call it Kiev. With more of a like like two syllable thing kiev is how you're supposed to pronounce it if you're ukrainian he's just doing like I, I don't know if he doesn't know that or if he's like mad that biden's pronouncing it the way ukrainians pronounce it because he is like a russian shill he is paid by russia no doubt i mean he works for Infowars. you think Infowars isn't isn't pro russia didn't deter putin the white house issued a press release saying that biden will publicly address the crisis sometime quote tomorrow afternoon presumably after he wakes up from his third nap of the day meanwhile what? nancy Pol what? I, can dude this guy literally spent the entire trump presidency and the time leading up to it making fun of snl for making trump bad jokes repeatedly you can't do that for five years sorry six years and then do exactly that with Biden's sleepy Biden dementia jokes for four years, okay? It's it's been two and a half. We started the, the the sleepy Biden memes. The left invented the sleepy Biden memes. We were using them against him back when he was running against Ber uh, 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 Bernie. That he was like going dementia and he was falling asleep and he was he wasn't there. That was literally a lefty meme that that he's adopting. I love this. By the way. My favorite thing about PJW videos has to be how hard he tries to appeal to Zoomers. It's so hilarious. Like, with the, obviously at the start we had the, um, fuck, what's the name? What's the name of this aesthetic? You guys know it. It's, it's not cyberpunk. There's a weird name for it. Uh, the, the one with all the neon glow. Vaporwave. Yeah, yeah, synthwave or vaporwave. Yeah, like the vaporwave aesthetic the, the, the bop and Zoomers, uh, loved three years ago. Pelosi doesn't even know what country Russia invaded. Well, if you look at the map and you see Hungary, and you see how it is encircled Hungary. Turns out that repealing Trump's ban on transgenders in the military. What? Did, did she just misspeak? What? You can't even hear what she was saying because the sound of the clicking. This is unironically the peak of conservative, uh, uh, conservative engagement. I still listen to Vaporwave. Listen, vaporwave music is fine. I'm talking about the aesthetic. The uh, the hippin' and hoppin' zoomers used to all love vaporwave like fucking three years ago is when that was like popular. Mostly, what I'm pointing out here is that that PJW really does try hard with all like the memes, the the zoom ins, the edits, and everything to make his content like as appealing to zoomers as possible. It's actually very similar to what Noah Sampson does. Like when you watch Noah Sampson's videos and he has like the bass boosted fart noises or the zoom ins and the little funny meme edits, it's meant to appeal to Zoomers because Zoomers have very low attention spans. Uh, apparently, every Zoomer has ADHD at this point. Um, frankly, I wouldn't be surprised. And uh, uh, it's just the, the short attention spans of people on the Internet. The Internet, the Internet makes your attention span shorter and thus content creators meant to appeal to uh, Zoomers make their content more fast paced and Impossible to understand. It turns out that repealing Trump's ban on transgenders in the military didn't deter Putin. It turns out that the Pentagon's effort to help non-binary people... What? What does... What does trans people in the military have to do with Putin invading Ukraine? Does PJ... Is PJW... Isn't PJW... Why do he say us? 
Is he referring to the U.S. government or is he referring to his homeland, that fictional place he comes from? Dude, I swear to God, why are all these fucking foreigner conservative figures from Canada and the UK, these fucking foreigners coming in here and telling me, how to, um, an American, how to run my country? These goddamn foreigners from Canada and the goddamn UK coming here to America to tell me, an American, how to run my goddamn country. I'm tired of it, goddamn it. Goddamn limey Brit bongers coming here telling me how to run my goddamn country. I'm an American, goddamn it. This motherfucker doesn't know anything about freedom. He comes from the kind of, from a place where they knock on your door if you make a joke about the, the queen or whatever. I think that happened. I think somebody made a joke about the queen that was, like, admittedly pretty distasteful and that, like, that guy got, like, a knock on his door by British Secret Service. It was, a uh, oof. They don't, they're, uh, that'll still happen here depending on what you say, but, like, here in America, they're a little bit, you're a little bit, you got a little bit more freedom with what you can say. If Canada is a fictional paradise, uh, Britain is the horrible dystopia. Um, listen, okay, uh, if you've ever seen the TV show Buffy the Vampire Slayer, you know how there's like hell worlds, like different dimensions that are habitable to like demons? That's what the UK is, okay? The UK is just a hell world. It's a place where uh, because of all the clouds in the sky and the lack of rain, it makes it habitable to vampires and demons. So yeah, that's where they, that's where they come from. People who identify as they, them, serve openly in the military didn't deter Putin. Putin's manly recruitment ads stand no chance against Ukraine's they them army. Really? How did that work out for you? Hey, there he is. We got our boy. What, what is what is he even saying here? They them army? Is this military? Didn't deter Putin. Putin's manly recruitment ads okay. stand no chance against Ukraine's they them army. Really? Okay. How did that work out for you? Turns out NATO's commitment. Okay, so. There was a joke about they, them army, and then him responding to, do you know what tweet he was responding to there? Because I do. Do you want to know why PJW didn't show what tweet he was responding to there? Do you want to know what tweet he was responding to there? It was a tweet about Russian forces advancing into a city and killing civilians. That's what he was saying fuck, fuck, fuck about, was that the Russian military was advancing into a civilian area and there were reports of civilians being killed by Russian military. So that's why PJW didn't show the tweet Vosh was replying to. Um, no, to make this clear, though, uh, PJW doesn't know, like, anything about real politics. Uh, under no circumstances would the power of the U.S. military ever be relevant. In Like, we're not sending soldiers or troops to the ground to fight right now. This isn't even part of the discussion. The only part that the U.S. is going to play in this is going to be sanctions and stuff like that, like putting pressure on Russia to stop the invasion. We've also given like lethal aid to uh, Ukraine. We've given them weapons and like uh, uh, um, javelin missiles. Also, I do like the implication that like this is like PJW gloating about how Ukraine is going to lose. And yet it's been like weeks and Ukraine has, if we're being honest, been handing Russia their asses. Everybody expected Ukraine to have fallen so much longer ago, and they have literally just been putting up an insane fight. The amount of casualties they've they've given to the Russians has been impressive, even if like the the Ukrainian casualties are being downplayed. It's been really fucking pog to see um, how well they've they've held up. I mean, it's still serious and we still need to be like going against it. And Ukraine's probably not going to turn out very well in the end of all of this, even if it best case scenario does end in Russia retreating and ending this. But like, I don't know what this has to do with like the U.S. and they them army. No, like Ukraine doesn't have a they them army like their, their army is just, you know, an army. I, I don't know what this it was a joke to inclusion and Welcome diversity to didn't deter Putin. Thank you. And NATO. Diversity is our strength. Putin waited until the West was weakly led, low on patriotism and manhood, with the media obsessed over domestic trivialities and politicians with a penchant for waging war on their own citizens. Perfect timing. Meanwhile, they're still- Dude, I love that conservative journalism is literally finding somebody who tweeted something on Twitter with a lot of likes, and then that's my source. That That's unironically going to be his source. That's his source for the argument that Putin invaded Ukraine because right now Democrats are running America and so the West is weak.
that that's going to be his uh his source also this is my favorite thing about pjw videos he uses his own articles from infowars as a source he's probably done it already i'll point it out if he does it again in this video but um he'll show like he'll say a thing that has happened and he'll show an article up on the screen and the implication is oh he's citing like an article to cite his sources but if you actually look up the article you come to find out it's from his website, Infowars, and he wrote it. And the source is his website and his website, Infowars journalists, unnamed Infowars journalists, or like Project Veritas or some other equally uncredible organization. This right here, peak conservative uh, journalism. Still seems to be a lot of confusion about whether this represents a world war or merely woke war one. I feel like I'm watching George Floyd die again, only the country version. We all stand around knowing this is wrong, but helpless to stop it. What can we do? Hashtag Ukraine is George Floyd. So, so now what, what he's going to do is just show a bunch of like lefty tweets of people saying silly things and use that as an argument. So uh, enjoy that for the next 20 minutes. Floyd reports that however long this video is, five minutes. Russian Spetsnaz soldiers have already begun tearing down George Floyd murals in Kiev have been denied. I've got a question for you. Do you think what Putin's done is worse than racism? But Putin said he attacked Ukraine to fight the Nazis. Wait, didn't the legacy media and political class just spend the last five years telling us that political violence is justified so long as you're fighting Nazis? Antifa literally means anti fascist He's doing the meme! Hey, chat. Hey, you know how I keep on saying tankies and Nazis are exactly the same? You know how I keep on saying that tankies are just Nazis with like, they just painted a hammer and sickle over the swastika? Almost, uh, I, d do you want to bet we're going to get the bio labs in this one? Do you think we're going to get the fox die bio labs in this video? That conspiracy theory, that one's one of my favorites. I love the idea that there's a sizable portion of people in the world that think fox die is real. That is the funniest shit to me. That is the funniest shit in the world to me. Fascism. They're fighting Nazis. How could you oppose uh, that? By the way, for those of you guys that don't know, um, the Nazis in Ukraine are uh, the the meme or the the like the conspiracy theory of that comes from the Azov Battalion, which like is a battalion of two thousand five hundred to three thousand soldiers, and like. 2% of them or something are suspected to be white supremacists. And by suspected, it's they probably are. Like, like most certainly. Like, suspect, they have to say suspected, but, like, probably are, because there are pictures of people in the Azov Battalion holding up swastika, like, flags and stuff. So I'm sure there's Nazis there. Every country has a Nazi problem. Nobody thinks that that one country invading another because there are Nazis and its population are justified. This is, uh, per this is right here, peak conservative whataboutism. I feel like we're saying this is peak conservative a lot of things, but it really is. Ah, Putin literally used the anti for excuse. We're fighting Nazis, therefore we're virtuous. Isn't Putin just on a grand scale? Punching a Nazi. So yeah, save me the no. contrived sanctimony of a political class that has venerated political violence as a force for moral good. Suddenly wetting- I can count this guy's nose hairs. He needs to angle his face down a little bit. Like, this guy leans his face back like this when he speaks. I swear to God, I can see all the way up his nose. You got any bats in the hangar, buddy? You got any bats in the hangar, my boy? I don't know. Maybe. The bed in response to an overwhelming- he looks like a big mouth character was brought to life, doesn't he? He really does. He looks like a big mouth character was made into a real person. ...show of political violence. Save me the feigned outrage of a legacy media that dismissed and ignored the riotous destruction of American cities. Now being up in arms about the destruction of Ukrainian airports. The fiery but mostly peaceful obliteration of Ukraine's entire military infrastructure. <laughs> How much would you like to bet that if the U.S. had, like, sent in troops as a deterrent against Russia's advance and then pulled out and then Russia came and took Kiev and, like, took over Ukraine, not too dissimilar to what happened in Af Afghanistan, how much do you want to bet that just like with Afghanistan, PJW would criticize Biden for it? You guys know he would.
the right would be doing that because it has to be no matter what Biden bad. When is this? Is this supposed to? And a little bit of chicken. Oh yeah, I saw this clip because of uh, I saw this clip because of Shoe on Head. Yeah, Shoe on Head uh, posted this. Where CNN was showing the the clip of the of the city with the the air raid sirens, then immediately clips c cuts to an Applebee's commercial. Dude, my favorite thing ever is when conservatives criticize something, like a week after the left on Twitter already criticized it, and then they're worse at criticizing it too. Their jokes and their dunks on it are worse than the lefty jokes and dunks on it from Twitter a week before. It's like how like um. When you go on Facebook and all the conservative boomers in there are posting memes, they're all like m memes that were popular on Twitter a year ago because the boomers on Facebook take like a cut like a year or so to catch up to like Twitter and Reddit and all the other platforms. Like the memes start on Reddit or 4chan, then they get popularized with the zoomers on Twitter, and then they get fully normified and die out once Facebook gets to them, you know? Like that's memes with the right. Like, the right will criticize something the left has already done or has already criticized, like, weeks ago. And they'll do a worse job at it. They're, like, their dunks aren't even as funny. Save me the crocodile tears of NATO apologists. The same people who... Via NATO apologists? I'm going to be completely honest. I don't, I don't know if... I don't know if PJW could explain what nato's purpose is like if i asked if i asked pjw what do you think nato's for i don't think he'd be able to explain it vehemently supported nato bombing libya in much the same manner that russia bombed ukraine save me the moral what much like the way nato or sorry much like the way russia is bombing ukraine for one Conservatives engage in nothing but whataboutism, but also NATO, what, what's happened with Libya is not comparable with Russia and Ukraine. This is something that's always very frustrating to me about people on the internet. This isn't even a conservative thing. Lefties do this shit too. Um, where it's like, you can't talk about how a thing is bad without people trying to compare it to another bad thing. And the implication is, wait, 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 Let's not talk about the bad thing you're raising awareness about. We got to talk about the other bad thing first. And it's like, there are billions of people on this planet, okay? We, we can multitask on simultaneous issues. You can, it doesn't have to be a what about. What if it was a, hey, what Russia is doing in Ukraine is really bad. Let's talk about that. Okay, cool. Hey, did you also know what happened in Libya? Let's talk about that too. That's a problem. Like, it doesn't have to be a, well... If what Russia is doing is, is so bad in, in Ukraine, then why weren't you got why, why weren't the left all up in arms about what NATO is doing in, in, in uh, fucking Libya? Everybody is mad about Western influence in the global south, as lefties like to call it. It's usually how I always heard it referred to, like instead of like uh, uh, third world countries, because I guess that's sort of a, 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 an offensive term, I guess, or outdated term. I don't know. Regardless, the, people online, when they talk about, like, any foreign policy thing, and I want to make it very clear here, guys, I'm not very smart when it comes to foreign policy, but I know enough that, like, if someone's bringing up a specific issue and someone else's response is to do a whataboutism, then they're probably not acting very honestly. Grandstanding of people who hate America. Saying Americans who don't blindly swallow Biden White House narratives are anti-American traitors. The way the right wing is openly rooting for Russia and its authoritarian leader is one of the most amazing- I mean, this is just- this is just PJW coping because he's getting called out by the left for covering for Putin in Russia. Like, I mean, this is- you get called out for being a show for Russia and you're gonna have to cope about it in a video. That's what happens. Amazing things I've ever seen. Save me the cope and seethe of those who voted for- The projection is amazing. For the deep state war administration. Now suddenly- Dude, I love when in, P in 2022 people say deep state unironically. I love that shit complaining about war sold uranium to russia democrats crimea invaded by the way when they say the deep state they mean the jews they mean the jews when they say that in case it's not already obvious it's that pjw is a nazi he's 
We've known this for a while. Democrats, US domestic pipeline shut down, Democrats. Nuclear power halted, Democrats. Ukraine invaded again, Democrats. Starting to notice a pattern. Now the same people. <laughs> Dude. Thank you, Mike Cernovich, for your uh, amazing insight. Thank you for the Mike Cernovich tweet. That is Mike Cernovich, right? It's a Cernovich, but I mean, that I don't know what Mike Cernovich looks like. I just know that the only famous person with that last name is Mike Cernovich, so I assume that's who it is. Thank you for the um, the Mike Cernovich tweet. I'm sure that uh, that's a very good, very good source, PJW. Very, very good journalism, my guy. Uh, we fucking <laughs> great source, dude. Made it again, Democrats. I see Alex Jones is running, rubbing off on him. Uh, listen, Alex Jones and PJW absolutely charged their JO crystals together, okay? I've been thinking about getting a JO crystal for a while now. Um, it, it, it helps, it gives you power, all right? Um, if you have enough people JOing together, uh, when, you, when you've got enough JO crystals around, it can gather enough energy to give, uh, frankly, terrifying levels of power. Um, but yeah. Yeah, the, the reason why Alex Jones is such a powerful individual has to do with how often he charges his J.O. Um, PJW doesn't charge his J.O. anywhere near as often, and uh, that's why he's so much weaker than uh, Alex Jones is. Starting to notice a pattern. Now the same people who usually hate the mere concept of nation states and borders have all added the Ukraine flag to their Twitter bio. One thing about the Democrat Ukraine Russia narrative is that it serves. I, I don't care about this. I don't care about criticizing random people on Twitter for like virtue signaling support for a country being invaded because they have the flag in their bio. Like this to me is what's so evident about like the disconnect between conservatives and progressives. Like you watch a progressive, like a video from a progressive and it's like, hey, this bill is being passed right now. They're trying to make it like illegal to talk about being gay in schools in Florida right now. And then you watch a conservative video and it's like, People on Twitter are getting mad at me. People on Twitter have pronouns in their bio. People on Twitter put a, put a country's flag in their name. Like that is literally all they have to complain about. Meanwhile, if you're on the left or God forbid you're part of a marginalized group, you're like, yeah, uh, they're trying to pass a policy right now that will make like talking about my existence illegal in schools. So yeah, that's uh, that kind of sucks. Twitter, Twitter is literally upholding the online right content wise. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, the Twitter, like Twitter people themselves like came out and said that they specifically are more generous to conservative pundits on the platform. Like they, there was like an article that came out in which like the previous CEO of Twitter and a few of the other higher ups that are still there now um, all said that in order to prevent like basically every single conservative politician from being banned off of Twitter, they've had to modify the TOS to not apply as strictly to Republican politicians and public, uh, Republican public figures um, on the platform. Otherwise, like they literally admitted that if they actually employed their TOS as consistently as they should, there wouldn't be like basically every conservative pundit would be off of Twitter. Hey, can I actually here? We should actually go over that article. It's actually really good. Ah, this is from five, five months ago. Even more recent than I was talking about. This is from The, uh, the Guardian. Twitter admits bias and algorithm for right-wing politicians and news outlets. Home feed promotes right-wing tweets over those from the left, internal research finds. Twitter has admitted it amplifies more tweets from right-wing politicians and news outlets than content from left-wing sources. The social media platform... <clears throat> Examine tweets from elected officials in seven countries, the UK, US, Canada, France, Germany, Spain, and Japan. It also studied whether political content from news organizations was amplified on Twitter, focusing primarily on US news sources such as Fox News, the New York Times, and BuzzFeed. The study compared Twitter's home timeline, the default way its 200 million users are uh, served tweets, in which an algorithm tailors what users see with the traditional chronological timeline where the most recent tweets are ranked first. The research found that in six out of seven countries, apart from Germany, which is, you know, a pretty left wing country generally, uh, tweets from right wing politicians received more amplification from the algorithm than those from the left. L right leaning news organizations were more amplified than those of the left. And generally, politicians tweets were more amplified by an algorithmic timeline than by the chronological timeline. 
According to a 27-page research document, Twitter found a statistically significant difference favoring the political right wing in all countries except Germany. Under the, re under the research, a value of 0% meant tweets reached the same number of users on the algorithm tailored, uh, tailored timeline as on its chronological counterpart, whereas a value of 100% me meant the tweets achieved double the reach. On this basis, the most powerful discrepancy between the right and the left was in Canada, where liberals uh, were getting 43%, while conservatives got 167%, followed by the UK, where Labour got 112%, and conservatives with 176%. Even excluding top government officials, the results were similar, the document said. Twitter said it wasn't clear why its home timeline produced these results and indicated that it may now need to change its algorithm. A blog post by Ramis uh, Kaudhuri, uh, Twitter's uh, director of software engineering, and Luca Belli, a Twitter researcher, said the findings could be problematic and that more study ne is needed to be done. The post acknowledged that it was concerning if certain tweets received preferential treatment as a result of the way in which users interacted, but because of the inbuilt way the algorithm works. Whew. So, uh, yeah, Twitter literally admitted with an internal study that they favor right wing content on their platform. Zan, what's your opinion on conservatives who complain about rich people? I mean, typically when they complain about rich people and they're conservative, they're not complaining about rich people because they're rich. I'm trying to find the one where they talk about bans. Uh, Twitter admits to conservative favorites and bans. My main point is there was an article that came out like two years ago or something where Twitter admitted that when it comes to the uh, TOS and how they apply it to specifically conservative political pundits, they apply it significantly more generously to conservative political pundits because they admitted that if they applied the standards as harshly as they do to everybody else, to conservatives, they'd just be banning every conservative off the platform. If they just banned everybody who posted something racist or posted something transphobic or homophobic or Banned, if they just banned basically bigotry, there wouldn't be any conservatives on the platform. They admitted that. They have the inside data. They said the vast majority of conservative, conservative users on the platform do break the TOS, and it would be a massive purge if they actually acted on all of the TOS breaks the right does in their platform. It was like, I remember reading the article and getting mad because it was basically them saying, yeah, no, we just can't ban them. It, it'll be too big of a hit to our platform to do so. We can't uphold the TOS equally to them. That was more or less what, what they said. Um, anyway, that should demonstrate to you just the level of, uh, uh, of credibility that conservative journalism has. If you enjoyed this segment, this video, or me, please consider leaving a like. It helps me, the segment, and the video, and the channel out a lot more than you even realize. And it's totally free. We got 632 people watching right now, totally live. We probably don't even have 200 likes in the stream. What is that shit? Like the stream. Like it right now. Like the stream. Hit that like button. It takes half a second. And you know what? I bet a bunch of people just like the like button or just hit the like button because I told them to. But now there's a whole other section of the people watching right now that didn't even hit the like button. Do you really want to be one of those people? Do you want to be one of those people that still hasn't hit the like button? One of those people that doesn't help the stream just by moving a few inches to the left or to the right, maybe to grab your uh, your mouse and click the like button. Now, a bunch of people just like the like, hit the like button because I said that. Now, there's a whole other group of people who still haven't hit it. Why haven't you hit it yet? The people who still haven't hit the like button. Why haven't you hit the like button yet? What excuse do you have not to hit the like, bu like button? Why are you special? I'm curious. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Come on. Don't be that guy, gal, or end pal. Don't be that person. Anyway, if you want to follow my social media, it's also linked down below in the video stream and segment description. And if you want to support me financially, the links are down below as well. You can donate, donate, subscribe, or gift a sub to me on my website. And you can also support me on uh, Streamlabs, Patreon, YouTube, and Twitch. With all that said, thank you so much for watching. No matter how you support me, I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.